Hello. Welcome to the weekend. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing the Georgia Harris makeup collection tag today. Now the reason why I'm doing this tag is because this last weekend when I normally do my filming, I was in Portland. I was tango dancing, visiting friends, living my best life, and I had a wonderful time. The weekend ended and now I'm in a time crunch. So fortunately, we have these things called tags. So I'm gonna jump on board and I'm gonna get tagged. I got tagged and I'm gonna tag you and here we go. The Georgia Harris Makeup Collection Tag. Okay, question number one. How long have you been collecting makeup? Okay. I would say that I started collecting makeup since 2002. It all started with this Truco. Does anybody remember the brand Truco? Truco, uh, kind of this bronzer, glittery sort of um, compressed powder. And I thought that was beautiful. I remember finding it in a beauty supply store in Petaluma, California, and I thought that was like the prettiest thing I have ever seen. So since that, I have been slowly, slowly getting just one thing at a time that I've been attracted to. So it's been a slow build over a long time. Question number two, what kind of collection do you have? Is it minimal, utilitarian, aesthetic, historical? Um, I would say, I would describe my makeup collection as gifted, pared down, sparkly, and secondhand. So gifted, the, I would say about 90% of my makeup is gifted to me by dear friends of mine. So it is gifted, it is secondhand, it is sparkly the house. Um, yeah, it is packed full of glitter and I absolutely love it. It is pared down. I only keep and I use what I love. I don't tend to keep things that I'm like, oh, well, it's so pretty, but maybe one day I will, you know, try to wear it, but oh, I just haven't ever really, I, I tend not to keep that stuff. So it's well loved. Question number three, am I a completionist? So this kind of means, do I have to get every single little piece of makeup within a collection? So. Do I collect all the Jaclyn Hill palettes? Do I collect all the Jeffree Star makeup? Do I collect all the Natasha Denona palettes? No, not once have I ever, nor will I ever. That's just not my jam. It's not how I want to spend my time or my money. Question number four. How do you store slash organize your collection? I have everything in a travel bag. Everything is ready to go. It's there, it's on my vanity. My brushes are kept in a small glass cup, as is my eyeliner. Um, but yeah, everything's in a bag, it's ready to go. And I find that that works for me for the most part. Question number five. What is your favorite thing about your collection? Okay. Because my makeup collection is so gifted, I think about my friends who were so generous to give me these palettes, these highlighters, these eyeshadows, every time I use them. Every time I use them, I think about these special people. That's what I love about it. I also love that everything is pared down. There is not one thing in my collection that, you know, 
oh, well, I only wear this lipstick or I only wear this highlighter on a special occasion. There's nothing like that. I can wear all the different shades any time, any occasion. It's all like perfectly selected for me. So that's what I love about it. Question number six, what is your least favorite thing about slash something to improve your collection? Okay, um, I would say something to approve upon with my collection. It's not, it doesn't really have anything to do with my makeup collection. It would say, I would say, you know, my own resistance to getting out of my comfort zone. I would like to expand, you know, upon that. What other looks, what other colors, what other, you know, what other color stories and palettes would I be comfortable doing, you know? I, so I wanna prove upon, you know, getting out of my own comfort zone. I find that I am a creature of habit, I'm a creature of comfort, and being in my own little, little happy little shell is great, but it, it doesn't really promote growth. So I think I should definitely uh, get out there and try new things. Question number seven, what is the biggest category in your makeup collection? Definitely eyeshadow. Definitely eyeshadow and highlighters. I was given a lot of beautiful single eyeshadows from a great friend of mine, Hannah. And so now I have tons of eyeshadow. And if you wanna see those single eyeshadow palettes and all my different uh, eyeshadow palettes, everything that was recently decluttered and what I kept, you can find that in my most recent video in the huge makeup declutter with swatches. I will link that video in the description box below. Question number eight, what is the smallest category in your collection? I don't own any complexion products. I mean, I have a little bit of like an under eye highlighter, but I don't have foundation. I don't have, you know, I don't have the shape tape. I don't have any of that stuff. I have an SPF BB cream and that is it. I also, I don't have a lot of lipsticks. I just don't have hardly any lip products. So lipsticks and complexion products. Question number nine. Do you have a holy grail in your collection? I do. I recently bought something. I recently bought the Fenty Beauty Diamond Veil and I'm just living for it. I put, you know, I layer my highlighters. I put on the Moon Dust palette, then I put on the Diamond Veil and I have a blush that I put on. I put the Diamond Veil all over my eyes. I sometimes put it on my chest and I am living my best life. I love that thing. It feels special every time I hold it. And the reason why it feels special, no one gave that to me. I bought that with my own money. I had been coveting it since it came out. God, when did that thing come out? It came out a while ago. And I'd been, you know, seeing it on Instagram and I've been seeing it on YouTube and I've been watching Rihanna like do her thing and her little channels and her little channels. I've been watching Rihanna put on that thing and I'm just like, oh girl, so pretty. So I feel uh, like I have this special little jewel. It's in the shape of a jewel. I'm just like, it's so pretty and it's such great quality. Oh my gosh, and I got the brush too. I got the beautiful shark tooth brush that goes along with it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I feel pampered and pretty every time I put that on. And I put it on every morning. And I'm pretty sure I go into work and everyone's like, Oh God, oh, too much. I don't care. I love it. I love it so much. 
Question number 10. Do you ever wish your collection was bigger slash smaller or is it complete? My, my makeup collection is awesome. It feels pretty complete. One thing I do wish I had was this magical nude lipstick, like the perfect nude for my skin tone. And it felt like a chapstick, like a really nourishing, hydrating chapstick. And the color stayed and was never messy. And every time I put my lips together, it would just, you know, rehydrate, you know, nourished, you know, all the nourishing ingredients went back down into my lips and the color would just stay and it would be beautiful and nude and maybe just a little bit of shimmer in there. And so if there, if that, I'm sure a lipstick like that exists and I just have no idea what it is and I honestly don't care to do the research because you know what? I'm fine without it. So if something like that were to make its way into my lap or if it was really reasonably priced and I wanted it, I would buy it. But um, yeah, I'm fine without it. Question number 11. How often do you declutter makeup in your collection? I declutter it when it's old and busted, when it's expired, and how often do I do this? Once in a blue moon. I tend to declutter when I'm feeling overwhelmed by the choices in my collection. If I'm feeling overwhelmed and I can't get through my makeup routine within a certain amount of time in the morning, I'm like, okay, the lot, this has got to go. This, I'm just overwhelmed. It's, there's too much. And I will, I'll either declutter it and give it away to my sister, my friends, or I will do the purgatory box that a lot of people do. And I'll just say, okay, I'm going to decide. And then if I have you know, a friend that's coming over, oh, hey, do you want to look at my box of goodies I want to give away? It's, I do that with clothing too. Oh, hey, I don't, I don't wear this thing anymore. Do you want it? I think it looks good on you, blah, blah, blah. So I do that, you know, every, every once in a while. Question number 12. Do you ever get envious seeing other people's makeup collections? No, not really. If I see something in someone else's collection that I think is pretty, I'll be like, ooh, I think that's pretty. Ooh, how much, oh, should I get something like that? Huh, wow, cool, I like it. Mm. Uh, I don't get envious. Why would I get envious if I was, like, I could just get it myself or you know what I could do? Oftentimes, oftentimes I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. What does that remind me of in my collection? Could I do something similar? Or is that one piece of makeup that my friend has truly, truly one of a kind, so unique and special that I can't you know, recreate it in my own way and make it even more unique to me, chances are, yeah, I probably can. So I, I rarely get envious and I'm always just like, oh wow, that's cool, super pretty, you know, happy for them. Okay, question number 13. Who on YouTube has the best makeup collection video? Um, I would say Hannah Louise Poston. She has the best makeup and I love her videos. I love her declutters. I love how she's gone from this, you know, really, you know, makeup junkie, makeup loving person where it was kind of, you know, taking over her life 
And then she's just become so conscientious and thoughtful on how she wanted to spend her money. So I love that about her channel. And so I find that the makeup she chooses is gorgeous and it's also thoughtfully priced. So um, yeah, definitely Candlelace Post and I will link her in the description box below if you haven't already subscribed to her. Last question, number 14. What some advice would you give to a future makeup collector? That's a good question. Is this really what you want to spend your money on? Do you re is this really where you want to spend your time and energy? Are you going to use every single color in that palette? Are you or are you just getting it for half of the colors in the palette or a third of the colors? Do you already have colors in the palette that you know you're just like oh but I like these but I don't like those and I already have you know eyeshadows that are kind of like this so I don't know get stuff that you're going to use and you're going to love don't feel like you have to get you know the diamond veil don't feel like you have to get it don't feel like just because someone else has a huge massive room full of makeup that you need to go out and have all the same stuff you don't so I would say conscientious spending is definitely what I would offer like do do you really want to spend your money that way so that's I don't know that's my advice that I would give you don't need to have all the same makeup that a lot of other youtubers or beauty gurus have you can just get a couple things at a time something that you really really love so once again I <laughs> didn't know what the hell I was going to film so I decided to do this tag I can see tags becoming more of a regular thing I do here so I also might want to try to create my own we shall see and that is it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and let's all take a nice deep breath in <sighs> get curious and loosen our collective grip on perfectionism thank you so much and I will see you on the